Hey guys, RC here, back with Season 5, Episode 3, Draft Day Sports, Pro Football 20. Uh, so, um, you know, this is a secondary save. I do apologize that it's been uh, about a week or so since the last upload. But, you know, that's what happens when it's a secondary series. It's the third series, and I normally only do two. But uh, with the new release of uh, FM20, the beta, uh, that's been taking up a lot of my time. Plus, I was out of town uh, with work for half a week, so a lot of catch up, and uh, you know, I was on jury duty, so I've got a lot of catch up with work that I'm doing. So anyway, my apologies. I hope it, it was uh, it was not too painful to wait, but uh, I do appreciate you guys waiting. So uh, we did uh, weeks uh, one through six last episode. Uh, we are off this week, so I'm going to go ahead and simulate the week and move ahead. Um, Oh, you know what? That's just making me think they're re-signing coaches. So let's go look at our coaches. He's got two years left. He's got, oh, we've re-signed. Yeah, we've re-signed him for five, both of our coaches for five years. We signed this uh, this head coach. I'm going to probably fire him and go after another coach next year. Um, of course, maybe we're doing okay and, you know, he can he can do the job. I don't know. Uh, let's see, a couple of guys complaining about playing time. I, yeah, that's, that's, that's a you problem. Uh, you know, this is the NFL, you know, you don't get to play. It's not guaranteed. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I guess depth chart. Yeah, Prescott, Elliott, Cooper. Yep. I think we're good. It doesn't force you, uh, for those of you that, uh, you know, have seen some of the sports uh, things on my channel, uh, bowl bound college football, for example, if you have uh, an injured player in your depth chart, you get an error. You have to actually go in and fix it. This game doesn't do that. In fact, it doesn't even take an injured player out of your depth chart. So let's play. So we're going to week through week 12 today. It'll only be five games. And, oh, a big 37-10 to 10 win. 27 second-half points. Dak Prescott had a big day. Uh, 372 yards. Only one touchdown and two interceptions. Ugh. Let's see. Dallas Boswell. Caleb Trinidad. Boswell, Dak Prescott from one yard out, Randy Ship, a short pass. Joseph Reuter came in and hit Eric Doyle for 39 yards late in the game. Good deal. Daniel, yeah, Giants, Daniel Jones, 15 out of 30. 33 out of 47. Nice game for Dacky. Um, one of four, so he's only 25%, but he throws a touchdown, so he has a 107 rating. I'm going to say that seems just a tad flawed. Cooper, nine catches, 94 yards. Ship, eight for 88. Oliphant, five for 75. Boswell, four for four on the extra points. And three of three, all from inside 40 yards on the field goals. Field goals was an issue last year. And that moves us to six and one. Very nice. A locker room report. Yeah. Coaches are delighted. You're a backup flipping quarterback, dude. All right. I, I, do backup quarterbacks really expect that you, you'll bench? I mean, you know, in college, I can understand that kind of immaturity. But in the pros, I, I don't think I don't think Dak Prescott's backup, whoever that is, because I don't even know Cooper Rush. Do you think he sits there and goes, uh, uh, Jason Garrett? Uh, I really feel like I should be starting over Dak, and uh, you need to play me more, or I'm gonna throw a hissy fit and quit. No, I don't think so. You know, especially not when the team is six and one. Hello. Dumbass. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Oh, 
I always hate these games because there's two. T I actually root for two teams, uh, Cowboys and the Saints. I was a Cowboy fan first, but I'm from Louisiana. How does that work? Well, you probably don't care. Um, but suffice to say, I didn't live in Louisiana at first. Uh, that's my home state, quote unquote, even though I was not born there. Uh, but that's where home is. That's what I consider my home state. Um, but they were never on TV. My dad, I know I've mentioned my dad was in the service. And, you know, so that's how I became a Dallas fan. Uh, because no matter where we lived in the country, I could watch cowboy games. So I liked them because I could watch them. Uh, but anyway, now it's kind of, I'm, I'm actually torn because I love the saints as much as I love the Cowboys. And when they play each other, I'm gutted one way or the other. And that's just how it is. Um, and usually I root for whichever team a win will benefit the most. And then I'm still upset that the other team lost. <laughs> so 29 to six we are seven and one elliot 99 yards boswell byron jones would have pick six eric doyle from prescott boswell a couple more field goals Ruder got in three of six 17 of 24 Five, that's 34. So that's a pretty high per, uh, completion percentage. Uh, Edward White, first round pick in 2020. So he's in his, what, third year in the league? Or is that fourth year? Fourth year in the league. Cool. Cool. He, uh, 30, 35 touchdowns last year. That was brilliant. Is that Ben Coates, the old tight end playing running back? No, Byron Coates. Okay. Elliott, 16 for 99. Prescott, 17 for 25. Ship with a nice game. Um, wow, he did not have a single catch or a target. Damn. Crazy. I wonder if he's hurt. I guess we could go look. Where's that at? Team Info? Nope. Team News? Yes, there we are. Yay! I forget who told me about that. I did mention it, though. I gave credit. I gave props. All right, Cooper fat Fatigue. Come on, man. To quote Chris Carter, 8 to 12 weeks. Yeah, that was our first round draft pick. Uh... Harsh. All right, we're seven and one, two game advantage. Coming into week ten, got three match, three game matches. My football manager kicking in there. Tampa Bay on the road. Thirty-one twenty-four victory. I like it. I like it. That's a big win on the road. Prescott to ship. Prescott to Hoy Watson. Boswell with a field goal. Elliott with a two-yard run. Prescott to Doyle. A 42-yard run for Tampa Bay. Ouch. 18 of 24, 240, and three touchdowns. I would take that every day of the week. Or I would take that every Sunday with the occasional Thursday and Monday thrown in. So it looks like he's still sitting out with his old fatigue factor, but Oliphant, five catches for 60 yards. Very nice. Very nice. Delete. Ecstatic. Keep up the great work. We'll try. We'll try. Uh, team news. All right. Fatigue. Oh, Gallup dislocated his shoulder, but he's probably going to play. Uh, Denmark, a bruised, a bruised cheekbone. Ow. I'm sure Arrington with his broken hip completely feels for him. All right, another road game, this time against Atlanta. Uh, another win, 9-1. and one. All right, we've guaranteed ourselves a winning record. That's big after last year. Prescott, 26 of 29, 
That's a stellar game. How does he not have a, at least a hundred rating with, he only had three incompletions. Actually, he only had one incompletion, right? I mean, three that didn't go to his team, but only one that nobody caught because two of, two of those three were caught by the other team. Ah, Cooper back up on the board there. Ship six for 81 and a touchdown. Eight different receivers. Very nice. Surprised? Uh, well, you know, we only won by eight. So, yeah, I guess not hugely surprised. That uh, our backup didn't play. No messages. All right, we're down to just uh, the bruised cheekbone and the bruised hip. All right, back home, playing the Eagles. Crash, Eagles, crash. Oh, damn it. And you knew, you, you knew that was coming. 23 unanswered points in the second half. Shit. That sucks. Four touchdowns for Carson Wentz. Damn. 127 yards rushing. 13 for 61 for High Watson. When are you our second round pick? Fourth round pick. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't draft I wouldn't draft a running back in the second round. That uh is that Michael Crab the Michael Crabtree? That is the Michael Crabtree from Texas Tech. He is a legend. A legend. What's his career stats, just out of curiosity? 466 catches, 7,700 yards, and 50 touchdowns. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Ship with 110. Cooper with 69. Neither one of them scored, though. That's That's too bad. And that was it. That was the last week because we only go through week 12. All right. So delete, delete, delete. All right. Team news. All right. So we're back to full health with the exception of Arrington, who's, who's out for the season. And let's look at the team stats somewhere. Team stats. Nope, not that one. That team stats. All right, so Prescott, 2,800 yards, 17 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Not, not a big fan there. Elliott, 927 yards and eight touchdowns, so he should hit 1,000 here relatively soon. 55, 56 catches for Cooper and Ship, respectively. Oliphant with 50, big season for the tight end. Uh, both receivers over 800 yards, both with four touchdowns. Eric Doyle, is it Eric? I hope it's Eric. It is Eric, yay, I got it right. Uh, with four touchdowns, I didn't remember that. Uh, let's see. Interceptions is five for Jones, four for Denmark. Denmark really stepping it up. He was going to be our nickel back this year, remember? Uh, tackles, 60 for Chubb, the linebacker we brought in in free agency last year. Nine sacks for Lawrence. Nice. Only three for a couple of guys. Kicking... 21 out of 25. I'm pretty happy with that, right? Now, fine, we actually drafted 90 and 80. 90 and 80 and 60. See, it's his accuracy that's letting me down. What I'm what I'm hoping is, is that he will improve there, but I don't know if you can improve if you're on the practice squad. Don't know. 
If anybody else knows, let me know, please. And uh, let's look at standings to wrap up this episode. So the Lions, uh, three-way traffic jam at seven and four in the north. The Bears only a game out at six and five. Wow, that's going to go down to the last week. Buccaneers at eight and three. Uh, the Saints at five and six are just two games behind the second wild well, possibly two games. Yep, yeah, two games behind the second wild card. We're nine and two. The Eagles are eight and three, just a game back with that win. They're on a five game run. That's uh, a little troubling. Redskins kind of fading out at four and seven. Cardinals at six and five, Niners and Rams at five and six. And I really hate the Niners and Rams. Uh, they used to be in the same division with the Saints till the till the, this realignment came about. Uh, so yeah, not not fans of them. Uh, so anyway, that's going on in the National League. Uh, Pittsburgh at eight and three, kind of running away with the uh, North. Houston, Jacksonville, two way race in the South. Uh, eight and three with a three game advantage in the East are the Jets. Patriots are under five hundred, and Miami looks like the real life team, just better. And Denver and the Raiders at six and five. Kansas City at five and six, just one game back, and they're in the wild card mix. So they'll actually. So it looks like Oakland would be the first wild card, and then you'd have Buffalo, New England, and Kansas City tied for that second wild card i don't know what that would come down to looking at your top offenses we are number four in points per game uh, we do not appear anywhere else uh, we are seventh in total yardage 13th rushing seventh in passing and we are fourth in scoring defense second in yards allowed per game first against the pass and 15th against the run, giving up just over, just under 102 yards a game. All right, so schedule wise, team schedule right there. All right, we have uh, five games left to close out the season and then the playoffs. Uh, we have uh, home games with Carolina and Cincinnati. Then we go on the road to Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, and then we end up the season with Washington. I really wish it gave your opponent's record in here, but, you know, again, still a relatively new game um, as far as, it's what, second? I think PFS, PFS 19 was the first one, and 18 was actually under another name so it's only in its third year so still evolving but the good news is points per game you know none of the statistics seem out of whack uh player stats you know none of none of the statistics seem askew like that big word uh, Boswell, 100 points on the season, leading scorer in the league. Nice. Uh, Elliott, third in rushing yardage. Prescott, second in passing yardage. Tied for third in touchdown passes. And third in passer rating. So, eh, not bad. Who brings up the bottom there? I can't look any further than that. Damn. Oh, well. All right, guys. Well, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys thought about this run. We're on a pretty good run of form. I am pretty happy, which all this means is I'm going to get to the first round of the playoffs and lose unless I get a bye, in which case I'll lose in the second round because that's how it works. And I know that's how it works because that's how it's always worked for me. All right, guys. We will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.